Well, good morning and welcome to the Cascade Conference here in beautiful Leavenworth, Washington. Uh, we've been... <laughs> we welcome the enthusiastic group that has joined us today here in Leavenworth and we welcome those of you on TVW who are joining us. Uh, the conference has been held since 1969 and has been a dynamic force in Washington state politics since that time. The theme of our conference this year is a Washington that works for everyone, and that's going to be explained in a few minutes in a little more detail, but I'll just point out that uh, while certain parts of our state are thriving economically and certain sectors of our population social economically are thriving, other parts aren't. You look at the geography, you look at uh, education status and such, and uh, so we thought that this would be the focus we should have in 2015. The conference is a conference of the mainstream Republicans of Washington, and, and we are proud to be sponsoring it. I'm Sam Reed. I chair Mainstream Republicans of Washington. Thank you. Thank you, Tom Rankin, for clapping. And... Uh, some of you may recall before you traded up that I was your Secretary of State from 2001 to 2013. Uh, and uh, the conference this year is being chaired by Anna Salick, and Anna is just doing a terrific job. I'll turn the mic over to her. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here this morning and being up here. Um, I just wanted to make sure for anybody who came in this morning that you've checked in. If you haven't, the check-in table is on the second floor right above the lobby as you enter the hotel. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. Thank you. To introduce our first program, a member of our uh, executive board, Kyle Curtis. Kyle, if you'd come forward. Uh, Kyle was the former president of of the University of Washington College Republicans, is now Vice President of the College Republicans statewide, is also President of the Log Cabin Republicans for the state of Washington. This is while being a full-time student, by the way, from Yakima. Uh, so this is one dynamic, hardworking young man, Kyle Curtis. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Um, for those of you, uh, yes, I serve as the president of the Law County Republicans of Washington State, serving uh, my second year. For those of you that don't know, we are a Republican organization dedicated to representing the interests of gay and lesbian Americans and their allies, and we are proud to be a partner of mainstream Republicans. Um, yes. So I am happy to uh, introduce a very special guest um, that flew in all the way from Washington, D.C. to give us a, a morning speech this morning. Um, his name is Gregory Angelo. He's our executive director for Log Cabin Republicans. Uh, prior to his, this current position, he served as the chairman of the Log Cabin Republicans of New York State, where he uh, led their movement uh, for New Yorkers United for Marriage. Um, he also serves as the executive director for the Liberty Education Forum, a nonpartisan think tank that advocates a message of gay acceptance among conservatives and people of faith. Um, he's been featured countless times. You might have, uh, have seen him on TV. Um, on such uh, media outlets such as the O'Reilly Factor, Hardball with Chris Matthews, The Wall Street Journal, US Today, CNBC, and many others. Um, this past year, Gregory's been traveling around the country, um, visiting major cities, showcasing what uh, big tent politics really looks like. Um, he'll be ending uh, his tour with a major event at the 2016 Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio. So please join me in giving a huge welcome to Gregory Angelo. I want to start by, uh, again, thanking Kyle for that very kind introduction. I want to thank everyone here at the Cascade Conference, including Secretary Reed, Chairman Salek, uh, Executive Director Alex Hayes, and of course, uh, Kyle Curtis, as you heard, is also on the uh, board here, as well as part of, as heading, Log Cabin Republicans of Washington. Well, we are here, first session this morning at the conference, and I wanted to begin, perhaps aptly so, with remarks that are a wake-up call to the mainstream 
Republicans. Maybe a little bit of tough love to start the day. And that is a new splash for everyone in this room. There is no such thing as moderate Republicans. Moderate Republicans are an extinct species. They're gone. They do not live. But now the good news. Everyone in this room is very much alive. Everyone in this room is very much, not a moderate, but a common sense conservative. It's time to stop letting others in this party tar you as moderates. It's time to start standing up and owning the fact that you are conservatives. You just happen to have a lot more common sense than other people in this party. If you, if you support Second Amendment protections, newsflash, you are a common sense conservative. If you oppose government encroachment and takeover of your health care, newsflash, you are a common sense conservative. If you support tax reform, you are a common sense conservative. And guess what? If you support marriage equality, you too are a common sense conservative who supports family values, who, who supports the notion that when committed same-sex couples engage in civil marriage partnerships, they are less likely to rely on the government for support and more likely to do what same-sex couples have desired all along, and that was to live our lives in quiet dignity. Now, this notion of common sense conservatism is not new. In fact, it started back in 1977 in California, when a referendum was going before the people of the state called the Briggs Initiative, otherwise known as Proposition 8, where the voters of California were asked whether or not they wanted to make it illegal for gay propaganda, quote unquote, to be taught in California public schools. It's a law that would essentially, if passed, have made it illegal for openly gay individuals to be teachers in California public schools. It looked like that referendum was going to pass, and pass by a big margin, two to one, until a common sense conservative, who I guess we have to use this, until a common sense conservative who had been governor of California in the past, who had run for president of the United States in the past, and who was looking to run for president of the United States again, a common sense conservative by the name of Ronald Reagan came out against the Briggs Initiative. He said it was unnecessary, would lead to disastrous consequences. And when it ultimately went to the voters of California, instead of passing by a margin of two to one, the Briggs Initiative failed by a margin of two to one. And in order to support Ronald Reagan, in order to support common sense conservatism, Log Cabin Republicans was founded in California as a group of gay Republicans, our name paying homage to the birthplace of this country's first common sense conservative president, Abraham Lincoln. See, the Republican Party has a history of common sense conservatism. It runs through our veins. We are the party that championed emancipation, suffrage, the Civil Rights Act, and equality for all Americans. So I will say this, my charge to you, don't fall for it. Don't fall for others in this party that try to push you to the fringe by labeling you moderates. Next time someone tries to do that, tell them they're right. You're not a moderate. You are, in fact, just as conservative as they are. You just happen to have a lot more common sense. You see, I'm a common sense conservative. I'm a common sense conservative who wants to win. 
And it is my honor to be in a room today surrounded by common sense conservatives who want to win as well. Thank you very much for the invitation to speak to you this afternoon, and I look forward to the rest of the conference.